Hey guys, today we're gonna to do a fresh smash burger. Why is it fresh? We've got some fresh ground beef from a friend's farm, and uh, it's gonna be really good. Hi everybody. Hi right, guys, so thanks for stopping by. Today's gonna to be a really simple Saturday afternoon barbecue. We're gonna pull out the Camp Chef Explorer 2 two burner griddle stove, camp stove. We are gonna be using, again, some fresh ground beef. Friend of ours, uh, who has a brother up in Central California, has a farm, and this beef is uh, from one of the family pets. Uh, you know how that, so it's some grass, fed Angus, uh, some really special stuff here. So we're gonna break this out in a second. First thing you're gonna need is a really hot griddle or a cast iron. You can do this on your stove top. You can do it over a fire. The guys have a really hot, hot searing pan. 500 degrees if you can get there, the hotter the better. And a couple things that I'm gonna do that uh, most people agree with is some good American cheese. So we're going with organic Stassi. Got some really nice organic American cheese guys, but if Kraft American cheese or just you know Walmart, whatever, get yourself American cheese guys. You can't go wrong on that. Now for buns, we're gonna be using some brioche buns here guys. We love brioche, I love brioche, just the way they taste. Uh, they don't fall apart and they're really easy to, uh, to crisp up. Seasoning wise, we're just gonna use some basic uh, salt, some pink Himalayan salt. And then for a sauce, we're gonna go with this uh, sugar-free yum yum sauce. Sugar-free is a key, guys. You know, lately we've been really uh, concerned with our health, and uh, giving up sugar is, is probably the best thing we've done lately uh, for our health. So that being said, we've tasted this yum yum sauce here, guys. I'll give you a little shot of it. It tastes a lot like Thousand Island, I would say. Pretty close, maybe not exactly, but you know me, we're gonna spice it up a little bit with uh, some tapatio. Now you could use um sriracha or whatever else you want but uh, starting with a good base i got a secret ingredient that i got from a another youtube channel i'm gonna reveal that a little bit later on when we're putting the burger together uh and uh, so stay around for that all right guys let's go ahead and get started here's about a pound or so of this uh delicious angus grass-fed uh just natural beef guys it's just so beautiful Really happy with this. Eric, you're the man. Abby, really appreciate you hooking us up here. This is really awesome. So here's what you wanna do, guys. Uh, size is the key here, and this is one of those rare instances in nature where size does matter. Um, so you wanna go for about a three ounce ball right here. Okay, guys, um, and I'll show you why here in a little while. So this is a three ounce right here that I've already measured. And once you figure it out, guys, it's really easy to get pretty close um, to that, right? So I'm just going to go ahead and make up two of these right now. Actually, I'm going to make up a couple more because I'm going to be making the Sassy's Smash Burger as well. She's going to want definitely a double. And, uh, right, babe? Yeah. Yep, definitely. Now, so the key here, guys, is you know if you're grinding your own beef if you want to send it through that meat grinder twice and you want that stringy kind of meat grinder kind of consistency okay you want all those cracks and crevices and uh because that's going to be really the key to getting the flavor now uh, don't mash it too much just put it into a ball let it stay and and uh and there you have it uh, if you got a little bit of extra like that i'm just going to make one extra one and uh and there we go. Now I'm not gonna season these, you can if you want, but I'm gonna wait uh, until they're on the griddle. But what I am gonna do is I'm gonna put these in the fridge and let them set up for a little while while I get the griddle ready. So I'm gonna go with about a medium heat here. This uh, steel griddle is actually an accessory and it just sits down on top. You know, it's, it's pretty thick, you know, I'd say it's a quarter inch and it's got some uh, kind of a heat dispersion plates on the bottom of it a little bit um, But really it's not even you know, but it is a camp stove. So this gets the job done All right guys, I wanted to show you that secret ingredient that I'm going to be using here now these are dried onion uh, well, I guess uh, pieces or chunks that are uh, pretty inexpensive guys and uh, very 
uh, tasty. So what I'm doing here is putting them into a carafe and adding water to it. Let it sit for about 10 or 15 minutes and they start to reconstitute uh, with some of that water. Now I'm gonna strain these and then put these on the base bun. It's gonna give us that kind of a retro flavor, kind of bring back memories of cheeseburgers and how McDonald's and those guys, they basically use the same thing. They, they use freeze dried onions that they reconstitute and just throw it back on. Hey guys, be sure to get yourself on these cheapo laser temperature cages here. Guys, I'm looking at 510 in some areas, about 500 average right here in this hot spot, and that's perfect for grilling some smash burgers. Guys, I'm gonna just go ahead and start these buns. Now I've buttered them up a little bit, and I'm gonna just put them over here. Okay, I'm gonna watch them close now, so we know we're nice and hot here. So I'm gonna take a couple of my patties. Now you wanna leave room, so when you smash it out, they're gonna get pretty wide. So I'm gonna go ahead and put one right there. I'm gonna put one right there. Okay. Okay, now I'm not seasoning them yet. Now, I'm gonna take one of these little square parchment papers. These are called party packs, they're patty paper. And I'm just gonna put one on each one, guys. And that way I can use just about anything to smash it. And in this case, I got myself a piece of railroad tie. All right, guys, so the key is smash it, twist it, and try to get it nice and round. There you go. There you go. We'll just pull the paper off. <clears throat> okay, now guys, as you can see, there's cracks and crevices. That's where the flavor is. Okay, right now, this is where I'm gonna put a little bit of salt just on this side, guys. These are so thin, you, and while you're waiting, you can go ahead and just sauce up the buns, both sides, just like that. All right, guys, I'm go ahead and put them over. There we go. And I'm going for a double cheese, so I'm going to put a piece of cheese on each one to help that cheese melt, guys. There you go. Hit it with a little bit of water and let that steam. Here's my smash burger. So delicious looking. Mmm. Oh. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, baby. That sauce, doesn't matter that it's sugar free, it's still tasty, guys. Uh, if you can do anything with your recipes to eliminate the sugar, guys, do it. Your body will love you for it. Um, and tapatio, that's perfect, but those onions. On that bottom bun, you bite into it, your, your tongue tastes that onion. It reminds me of burgers back in the 80s. Um, it really does. You know, Dairy Queen. Mm. Mm -hmm. Hey, thanks for watching. I'm gonna make Sassy up a double-double uh, with bacon and all kinds of other stuff, guys. <laughs> um, maybe we'll do that on another video and show you, but uh, otherwise, um, that's all for now, guys. Thanks for uh, visiting with us today, and uh, cheers, and uh, have fun barbecuing. Mm.